had so much faith in the young generation. He knew that they will be carrying out his ideas and they will be working for the salvation of our nation. Wonderfully, with, with their full strength. So in one of his lectures he says that men, men are wanted and everything else will come in its place. Which type of men he wanted, you know, how much resource he wanted, he had he had a, a dream in his mind, he had a vision in his mind that he is going to revolutionize the world. And for that, what resource he wanted, you know, handful of young people. How many? Just hundred young people. He says in his lecture, men, men, these are wanted. And just all things, all this, all else will come in its place. But which type of man he wanted? He says that vigorous, strong, believing young man. Sincere to their backbone are wanted. A hundred such and the world will be revolutionized. So such faith he had in, <coughs> in the younger generation of India that he wanted just hundred young men to revolutionize the world. And what he, uh, he says that he knew that the young population of India is going to make our nation free from the British clutches, from the British rule. He knew very well that it is only young population who is going to uh, make this country free from the uh, British rule. So he taught us patriotism, he taught the young men patriotism, lesson of patriotism. And his patriotism was not something uh, like ordinary patriotism. His patriotism was something different. It, it was not like this that I have to go and I have to take, uh, bring out a rally, some 20,000 rally. And I have to give some 10,000 lectures uh, and I have to chant some uh, lot of slogans Bharat Mata It is not like this. So his patriotism was something different uh, type of patriotism. He says in uh, one of his lectures that for the next 50 years this only shall be your God, your Mother India. Let all other gods disappear from your minds for the time being. And this only, uh, you have to serve only your race, which is a living God, with everywhere is his hands and everywhere is his feet. What he says, he taught us a lesson of renunciation and service. This is the new, the new method of patriotism, what he wanted from us. So, a new type of patriotism. He says that, why don't you go and uh, pray before a God in the temple? Which is non living God, which cannot talk, which cannot move, which cannot breathe. Rather, you should go and uh, serve your uh, downtrodden masses, hungry masses of your country, which are those those uh, those people, they are sinking day by day, lower and lower and more and, and below. So, go and serve them, your own masses, your own race, that is a living 
bored, be bored and try away all the superstitions that have entered into your mind. Be bored. Let the bold goal maybe goal may be distant, but arise away and stop not till the goal is reached. So this is his message. What is the meaning of this message? The meaning of this message is I will tell you in Hindi. Swamiji कहते हैं कि हमें बचपन से ये सिखाया जाता है कि हम पापी और दुर्बल हैं। अरे मनुष्य को बताओ कि मैं अमृत के संतान हैं। यहाँ तक कि जिनके भीतर बहुत कम आत्मा का प्रकाश है, उन्हें भी यही शिक्षा दो। और उन्हें ये बताओ कि वे अमृत के संतान हैं। अपने से कहो कि मैं वही हूँ, वही हूँ, वही हूँ। और यहाँ तक कि अपने मरते दम तक यही बात कहते रहो कि मैं वही हूँ। और ये दिन रात तो हर मन में एक गीत के तरह बजता है कि मैं
बाजू में मकान भी जाते थे और पेड़ पे चढ़ के झूलते थे खेलते थे कोई पड़ोस में जो मकान में चौकीदार थे उनको डांट दिए बच्चों को पता है कि आप जाना है लेकिन बच्चे मानने वाले नहीं है फिर उन्होंने क्या किया उन्होंने बताया कि बच्चों को पता है यहाँ भूत है भूत का थोड़ा हम सबको लगता है और मेरे को भी और सब दोस्तों को भी डर लग गया कि सर कुछ यहाँ भूतें नहीं जाना चाहिए अब वो चौकीदार जो थे उनको ऐसा लगा कि मानो अभी कल से कोई आए रहे क्योंकि भूत के डर से कुछ कोई नहीं आया लेकिन यही फर्क शुरू होता है सामान्य बच्चों में और जो आगे जाके बड़े होते हैं उनमें अलग तरह से विचार करते हैं नरेंद्र के मन में विचार आया कि मानो यहाँ अगर भूत रहता तो ये तो हमको अभी पहले ही पकड़ लेता इतना दिन तो नहीं पकड़ आज खास होता है ये जो बता रहे हैं हमको ऐसे ही डराने के लिए बता जो लोग देख के आते हैं सबको भूत देखना है देखो हम लोग कोई सोच नहीं सकते भूत देखने के लिए नरेंद्र चला गया और नरेंद्र जाके वहाँ पेड़ में बैठ गया कोई भूत तो नहीं था फिर अपने दोस्तों को बुलाने लगा जब वो चौकी था आपने देखा बोला भूत है वहाँ तो नरेंद्र क्या बताया अरे भूत होता तो पहले आपको डर के हो पकड़ लेता अभी तो कहाँ भूत है तो ये कहानी बहुत छोटी सी है लेकिन हर चीज में सोच के विचार करके अपना मत प्रस्तुत करना ये बचपन से हमको आदत होनी चाहिए जो बच्चे बड़े हैं हमारे स्कूल में उनको भी बता रहा हूँ कि कैसे होता है हम लोग तेरह चौदह पंद्रह साल के होते तो हर चीज हमको माँ पिता जो भी बड़ों की बड़ी गलत करते लगता है कि उनके विचार
स्वामी विवेकानंद जी और आशीर्वाद है मैं इस कार्यक्रम के माध्यम से सबको फिर एक बार आह्वान करता हूँ कि चलो हम लोग सब स्वामी विवेकानंद जी के रास्ते में निकल पड़े उनका आशीर्वाद प्राप्त करें और ये सिद्ध करें अपने जीवन में कि सचमुच हम रामकृष्ण मिश्र से जुड़े हुए व्यक्ति हैं मैं फिर एक बार सबको धन्यवाद देता हूँ नमस्कार
Good morning, everyone. A very welcome to all of you. Today, on this auspicious day, I would like to share a short speech on Swami Vivekananda. Swami Vivekananda was a very inspiring personality, a great soul and human being. He was responsible for awakening 19th century India into a new beginning. Born as Narain on 12 January 1863, among the nine children of the Datta family, he belonged to a family of reputed scholars. While his father works as an attorney at the Calcutta High Court, and his grandfather was a scholar in Sanskrit and Persian language. Following the footsteps of his father, Swami Vivekananda pursued law after completing the graduation. He even worked as an attorney in the Calcutta High Court. However, Swami Vivekananda was also greatly influenced by the other religious temperaments, and this is what motivated him to seek spirituality. Swami Vivekananda educated himself thoroughly on Indian culture and philosophy. As a principle of Sri Ramakrishna, he upheld the principle of serving humanity by serving God. He also preached the same, and his teachings had profound implications on the Indian society and the culture. The teachings of Swami Vivekananda were believed to be a great source of energy, wisdom, which were mainly inspired by the Vedas and the Upanishads. Swami Vivekananda is also known to have organized and stabilized a mission after his guru Sri Ramakrishna known as the Sri Ramakrishna Mission. This group includes saints and preachers who voluntarily work towards helping the poor and needy. We should all take inspiration from the extraordinary life led by the Swami Vivekananda and do our part in contributing towards the betterment of the mankind. Thank you. My name is Varti Vasal, I studied in class 7, my role number is 1. I am saying few lines about National Youth Day. National Youth Day is celebrated on 12th of February every year to commemorate Swami Vivekananda. The main objective of National Youth Day and the reason for the observance is to create a platform for the youth and address their platform in various patterns of life. The teachings, philosophies and ideologies of Swami Vivekananda are presented through colleges, schools and universities on National Youth Day every year. Thank you. Happy National Youth Day. Respected principal, respected teacher and my dear friend, today I am going to share a speech on Swami Vivekananda. Swami Vivekananda was an inspiring and great Indian personality across the world. He was, his original name was Narendra Nath Dutt, born on 12th January a, 1863 in Calcutta. He, his mother's name was Bhuvneswari Devi and his father's name was Vishwanath Dutt. He was influenced by his guru uh, Ramakrishna Paramhans. He was founder of philosophy, uh, Vedanta and Yoga to the Western world. He was, he was figured with high thinking and simple living. He gave a famous speech on Sanatan Sanskriti in, in Chicago, in Chicago, 18. 93. He was the founder of Ram Krishna Mission. Sisters and brothers of America, it fills my heart with joy unspeakable to read response to warm and cruel welcome which you have given us. I thank you in the name of most incidents of monks in the world. I thank you in the name of mother religion and I thank you of millions, millions and millions of Hindu people, classes and sections of bringing different lands, the, the idea of relation. I proud belong to the religion, truth, the world relation and universal expectation we not believe only the universal universal exploitation but we accept all religion as true i proud to belong a nation which has satellited the persecuted the refugee the of the earth i will quite 
quite to you written a few lines from my home home brings which i remember to have repeated from my air list from my air list remember bodyhood which has every day repeated by millions of millions human brings their source different place and parts which men take through different tendency virus and they appear cook or style only to the ओठो, जागो, एवं नालों के पोषण और दिखते मोना। Good morning, Namaste, my respectable principal, teacher, and my dear friends. My name is Simran Srivastava, Standard Three, Section C, Roll Number Twenty Three. Swami Vivekananda was born on twelve January eighteen sixty three in Shimla Palla, Kolkata. His birth name was Narendra Dutt, who later became the founder of Ram Krishna Mission. He was a person of India organized who 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 introduced the Hindu philosophy of Vedanta and Yoga to Europe and America. The, he reversed Hindus in modern India. He through the uh, te teachers have been. Inspiration not only for the people of India but for the whole world. Thank you so much. Hello, good morning, sir. My name is Aditi Kumari. I read in class four, section A, roll number thirty one. Uh, today I speak few lines for Swami Vivekananda because today Swami Vivekananda was day. Swami Vivekananda was a great leader and philosopher. He was born on. 12 January 1863 in Kolkata. His mother name was Bhuvneshwari Devi, and his father name was Vishwanath Datta. His childhood name was name childhood name was Narendra Nath Datta. He was figured with high thinking and simple living. सभी के सामने सामीजी का एक सत्र गाने जाना
आज मैं युवा दिवस के इस अवसर पर आप सभी के सामने स्वामी विवेकानंद जी के संबंध में भाषण देना चाहती हूँ स्वामी विवेकानंद का जन्म बारह जनवरी सन अठारह सौ ईस्वी को कलकत्ता के शिमला मोहल्ले के प्रसिद्ध दत्त परिवार में हुआ था उनका बचपन का नाम नरेंद्र नाथ दत्त था उनके पिता श्री विश्वनाथ दत्त कलकत्ता हाई कोर्ट में के एक प्रसिद्ध वकील थे उनके पिता के हृदय में गहरी करुणा थी और वे अत्यंत सहानुति संपन्न थे उनकी माता श्रीमती बुनेश्वरी थी बुनेश्वरी देवी जी अत्यंत बुद्धिमती और धार्मिक विचारों की महिला थी उनका अधिकतर समय भगवान सिर्फ की पूजा अर्चना में व्यक्तित होता था नरेंद्र की बुद्धि बचपन में बचपन से बड़ी तीव्र थी और परमात्मा को पाने की लालसा भी प्रवर्त स्वामी विवेकानंद अपना जीवन अपने गुरुदेव श्री राम कृष्ण को समर्पित कर चुके थे गुरुदेव के शरीर त्याग के दिनों में अपनी चिंता किए बिना वे गुरु सेवा में लगे रहे ही सन इस स्वामी विवेकानंद को युवकों से बड़ी आशाएं थी आज के युवकों के लिए यह प्रयास रहा है कि इसमें इसमें विवेकानंद के सामाजिक दर्शनाए एवं गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल माय नेम इज सौम्य श्रेष्ठ आई स्टडी इन क्लास थ्री माय रोल नंबर इज ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड माय सेक्शन इज बी आप सभी को मेरे तरफ से हैप्पी नेशनल योर डे आज स्वामी विवेकानंद जी का जन्म हुआ था स्वामी विवेकानंद जी का जन्म बारह जनवरी सन 1863 को कलकत्ता में हुआ था उनका बचपन का नाम नरेंद्र नाथ दत्त था उनके पिता का नाम विश्वनाथ दत्त था और माता का नाम भुवनेश्वरी देवी था वे युवा सन्यासी और भारतीय संस्कृति और हृदय दर्शन के इतिहास का बहुत बड़े विद्वान थे ऑन दिस स्पीशियस डे आई ऑफर माय डीपेस्ट रिगार्ड्स टू स्वामी जी I would like to thank all those who are listening to my words. I shall try to say a few words on Swami ji. Swami Vivekananda was born on 12 January 1863 in Kolkata in a Kaista family. His father Vishwanath Dutta was a famous lawyer in Kolkata High Court. He was a good orator in his educational life. When he was a college student, he came into contact with Sri Ramakrishna. Once he lost his belief on the God because of unemployment. After graduation 
and often said God doesn't exist following his father's day. His inaugural speech in the World Parliament of Religions in Chicago with the words Sisters and Brothers of America was admired by standing ovation. The theme of Vivekananda's speech on the word from was on the universality and harmony of the world religions. Vivekananda appealed his disciples and followers of Ramakrishna to devote themselves in social service and helping the underprivileged to gain knowledge. In 1897, he returned to India and received warm and enthusiastic welcome as he became a well-known personality. Vivekananda reflected India's spiritual heritage in his speeches and criticized the degradation of India's status due to caste system, lack of education, surprise of women, and failure of old tradition. At an early age, he left this world at the age of 39 on the 4th July, 1902. 12 January is celebrated the National Youth Day every year in India. In we offer our hum morning everyone. My name is Sharanya Shresht and I study in class 5 section A. My role number is 18. Happy National Youth Day. As we know, today is the birthday of Swami Vivekanand. So I am going to tell you a part of his childhood life. And the story name is The Cobra. Once upon a time, Billy and his friends was playing at the terrace, the game of meditation. Suddenly, they saw a cobra crawling towards them. They jump and run as fast as they can, but Billy was still there. They shouting, Billy, Billy, come here, hurry. There is a cobra. But Billy was just thinking of God. He didn't even know what is happening around him. And after some time, the cobra went away without harming Billy. Thank you. Hello, my name is Abhiraj Tiwari. I am a student of the Tiwari. Today, I am a student of the Tiwari. I want to tell you about the Tiwari. स्वामी विवेकानंद जी का जन्म स्वामी विवेकानंद जी का जन्म बार टूल जनवरी वन एट सिक्स थ्री को कोलकाता में हुआ था पिता का नाम विख्यान विश्वनाथ दत्त तथा माता का नाम भुवनेश्वरी था देवी था पिता पैसे से कोलकाता हुई हाई कोर्ट के वकील थे बचपन में विवेक स्वामी विवेकानंद जी का जन्म नरेंद्र दत्त था प्यार से सभी नरेंद्र कहते कहते थे वह बहुत अच्छे थे अच्छे थे गुड गुड मॉर्निंग सर एंड मैडम माय नेम इज ऋषि केसरी एंड आई टेल्स अबाउट स्वामी विवेकानंद स्वामी विवेकानंद रियल नेम वाज नरेंद्र नाथ दत्ता ही वाज बोर्न इन ए बंगाली फैमिली ऑन जनवरी ट्वेल्थ एटीन सिक्सटी थ्री 
Swami Vivekananda's birthday is celebrated as National Youth Day in India. He was a symbol of high thinking and simple living. Swami, Swami Vivekananda loved India very much. His message to the youth of India was be strong and fearless. Thank you. मेरा नाम अमृत भारद्वाज है मैं कक्षा चार में पढ़ता हूँ आज स्वामी विवेकानंद का जन्मदिन है तो इसीलिए मैं कविता सुनाना चाहता हूँ जय वीरेश्वर विवेक भास्कर जय जय श्री विवेकानंद इंदु ने भिन्न सुंदर लोचन विश्व मानव चरिबंध प्रेम ढल ढल कांति सुमल अगित वेद वेदांत त्याग तक्षित तपस्या उज्जवल चिंत निर्मल शांत कर्म भक्ति ज्ञान त्रिशूल धारण छेदन जीव मोहबंद ब्रह्मण्य नमो नारायण देहि देहि चढ़ नारायण हेलो फ्रेंड्स मेरा नाम अभिनव कुमार है मैं क्लास थ्री में पढ़ता हूँ आज मैं स्वामी विवेकानंद जी के ऊपर एक कविता सुनाने वाला तीस वर्ष का ज्योति कुंड का ज्ञान पुष्प का सूर्य कुंड का मस्तक पर अग्नि रेखा जिसने चकित रह किया जिसने देखा सब सुदर्शन धारी था वो देवदूत अवतारी था थैंक यू जय हिंद जय भारत जय भारत नमस्कार जागो हर एक देशवासी जागो मेरे संग साथी जागो हर एक देशवासी तू भी हो जो बना सकते हो अपने देश का स्वर्ग जागो मेरे संग साथी जागो हर एक देशवासी तुम क्यों भटक रहे हो अंधकार में आवा तुम क्यों नहीं निकलते करने ज्ञान की खोज बस तुम इन भौतिक चीज़ों के बारे में सोचते रह जाते हो आगे बढ़ो तुम्हारी इस जहाँ को जरूरत है जागो मेरे संग साथी जागो हर एक देशवासी इस कविता के लेखक कै युधिष्ठिर Good morning everyone. Thank you for having me here. Today I am here to speak on International Youth Day. In India celebrates National Youth Day on January 12 to commemorate the birthday anniversary of Swami Vivekananda. This National Youth Day is celebrated on the birthday and birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda so that the philosophy of Swami Vivekanand and the ideals of which he lived and worked could be a great source of inspiration for the Indian youth. The government aims to involve the student and youth with the philosophy and the ideals of Swami Vivekanand, the man who brought a change in throne a in throne in the in the throne process of the Indian youth. Thank you. Good morning to the instructor, principal, teachers, and all my dear friends. As we know that today is the today is the birthday of Swami Vivekananda. He was born on 12 January 1863. He was the disciple of Swami Ram Krishna Paramahansa. We celebrate his birthday as the National Youth Day in India. He always says, get, arise, awake, and go ahead. Thank you. Good morning, respected principal Maharaji and teachers and all my friends. My name is Bhaskar Das. I am studying in class 6. Today, I wish you have a very national youth day. Today, I am going to give a short speech in this session. The Swami Gyanando was an inspiring and indie. आज और मैं कक्षा पांच का पढ़ने वाला हूँ। आज मैं 12 जनवरी नेशनल युद्ध दे के बारे में स्वामी जी पर कुछ लाइन बोलने वाला हूँ। स्वामी विवेकानंद जी का जन्म 12 जनवरी सन 1890 ईस्वी में कलकत्ता में हुआ था। उनके पिता का नाम विश्वानाथ और माता का नाम भुवनेश्वरी था। उनका नाम नरेंद्र रखा गया। में उच्च शिक्षा पाने के लिए प्रवेश दिलाया गया स्वामी जी ने उच्च कोटि की शिक्षा प्राप्त की थी पिताजी के निधन के बाद उनके हृदय से संसार के प्रति अरुचि पैदा हो गई उन्होंने राम की परमहंस जी से दीक्षा से सन्यासी बनने की इच्छा प्राप्त की परमहंस जी ने उन समझाया और कहा कि सन्यास का सच्चा उद्देश्य मानव सेवा में है धन्यवाद प्रतीक्षता रुके मत 
इतना शब्द में हमें किसने लड़कड़ा लड़कड़ाया था ये जो शब्द है स्वामी विवेकानंद जी के लिए है भा, भारत के एक प्रदेश नगर कलकत्ता है इसी नगर में सन एटीन हंड्रेड ईस्वी में स्वामी विवेकानंद जी का जन्म हुआ था तो थैंक यू सो मच एंड बाय नमस्ते ऑल द टीचर्स एंड रिस्पेक्टर प्रिंसिपल महाराज जी आज मैं स्वामी विवेकानंद जी पर एक स्पीच बोलने जा रहा हूँ जो मैंने कुछ वेबसाइट्स और बुक्स के हेल्प से लिखा है और हाँ मैं सॉरी बोलना चाहता हूँ क्योंकि मैं स्वामी विवेकानंद जी के नाम पे कहीं पर भी जी नहीं लगाया मेरी मिस्टेक के कारण लेकिन मैं पढ़ूंगा जी बोल के सो स्टार्ट लेट स्टार्ट द स्पीच स्वामी विवेकानंद जी वॉज अ स्परिटल लीडर रिफॉर्मर एंड Composition human being. He was born on 12 January 1863 in Kolkata. His mother name was Bhavaswari Devi, and his father name was Vishwant Datta. We celebrate National Youth Day on his birth anniversary every year. He was Hindu monk and chief disciple of Ramkrishna Premble. His father was. working as a lawyer in the high court of kolkata his childhood name was narendra nath datta sir sri ramkrishna paramhans later named him swami vivekanand sri ramkrishna paramhans was the spirit guru of swami vivekanand i am abhishek mandelwar class 9 b roll number 18 thank you for listening my speech and bye
National Youth Day. National Youth Day is celebrated on 12th of January every year to commemorate the birthday anniversary of Swami Vivekananda. The main objective of National Youth Day and reason for its observance is to create a platform for youth and address their problems in various spectrums of life. The teachings, philosophies and ideologies of Swami Vivekananda are propagated through universities, schools and colleges on National Youth Day every year. In year 2020, on the 12th of January, the theme of National Youth Day was channeling youth power for national building. The birthday anniversary of Swami Vivekananda and the way he was living his life inspiring millions of us, not just in India, but around the world. The teaching of peace and wisdom that Swami Vivekananda followed is inculcated to students by universities, colleges and governmental institutions across India. Given the gravity of the impact that Swami Vivekananda and his philosophy had on the people of India back then, the teachings have been thoroughly followed by centuries. In the 21st century, where there is a cutthroat competition for youth to make a good career, the life philosophies of Swami Vivekananda, inspirational and push students to their limit to achieve the impossible. Various programs such as dancing, music and through provoking events are conducted on National Youth Day across various universities in the country. The teachings of Swami Vivekananda are in tune with culture and antique backgrounds of India and hence its philosophy are easily relatable to people across the country. Thank you. Good morning to all my teachers and classmates. My name is Piyush Kumar and my school name is Ram Krishna Mission Vidya Mandir. I am going to tell a story between Swami Vivekananda and a saint. Let us start. One day Swami Ji was sitting riverside on a rock. He was thinking that if God gives his power to a saint, what the saint use it for? He was thinking that time a saint came and said what happened, Swami Ji. Swamiji said all his problem, then Saint laughed and said, and said, You was thinking this only, then Saint showed his power that he had gained from God. Saint started walking on river. After some time, when Saint stopped walking, after some time when Saint stopped walking, Swamiji said, You lose one year for work for your five minute power. If you had gained this power for poor or poor child, you can live hundred years. The saint loosely gone to his home. Thought, we do not take power for money. We should take power for poor. Thank you.